Really quick announcement. Oh, your boy, Unlucky. Unlucky merch drop is live right now. There's a bunch of different shirts on there. There's hats, long sleeves, jacket. The link is in the description. It's GB Speed Shop. It's gonna be the first link. All right, let's get into it. Today, what we're doing is we're gonna go over how much it actually cost me to build the car to this point. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to give you guys a realistic view of how much it actually costs to build a car, let alone this car. To get to the point where you want it to be, it's a lot of money, it's a lot of time, a lot of effort. A lot of this, a lot of that, a lot of this, a lot of that. But it's all worth it in the end. So that is what today's video is gonna be about. Every single part that I have on this car is linked specifically in the description with a price and a link. Bam it! I'm doing all the work and getting no credit. So the first thing that I have on the car is a Woosh V3 front mount intercooler. What the intercooler does is it keeps the air colder that is going into the engine and it helps you not overheat. I'm in public doing this, by the way. If you don't have one of these, you're gonna overheat and it's not fun, it sucks. And these cars have a massive overheating issue. So definitely got one of these if you have one of these cars. The cost of this part alone is $400. Yes, okay. Granted, it is a very worth the $400 because it helps your car not die. It's all good. Now, since I know for an absolute fact that I am not able to show you the turbo, I'm just gonna sit in front of the engine and talk about it. So we're running a Woosh Hybrid Turbo. The Woosh Hybrid comes in at $1,500. Expensive. Ex very, very expensive. But not in comparison to every other turbo for every other car that exists. It's very cheap, so. Well done, Woosh. Oh, wouldn't you guess it? Another part that you can't see. The next thing that we have on the car is a Turbo Spart Dual Port Short... <laughs> this is a long one. The next thing that we have on the car is a Shorty Compact Dual Port Turbo Smart blow off valve. That's a mouthful. That comes in at $240. Super worth it. The blow off valve completely changed the way the car felt because of the sound it makes now. It's not really a Ford anymore. It's kind of like an R33 GTR. I'm gonna get flamed for that one. But, but it does sound a lot cooler. It's a lot more fun to drive. And it does hold boost in between shifts a little bit better, which, you know, helps with lag. It's just an overall good item. Fully recommend it. Oh, look, we can actually see this one. So this is actually a Sound Symposer Delete for the Fiesta ST. This is a Woo Sound Symposer Delete. There's a bunch of different brands. This one is linked in the description. Essentially what that does is it eliminates like the weird electronic pumped in noise that you get with these newer cars. Especially if you have like an upgraded turbo or an upgraded exhaust or really an upgraded anything. It's gonna get louder and annoying with that Symposer in place. Definitely a good idea to completely just delete it if you can. So I fully recommend that as well. The Sound Symposer only costs $20. It's like a five minute install. It's kind of a to get the original one out, whatever that plug is. But after that, you just pop it in, boom, ready to go. 20 bucks, baby. Can you hear me? Moving along to the interior. Up next, we've got our bad daddy seats. We've got our energy Prismas, baby. Low key thought these were going to be all uh, Alcatara or whatever this suede is. Didn't notice it till I bought it. All cloth little bit of suede. Anyways, these are super worth it. Uh, they're definitely not the nicest seats and they're probably extremely unsafe as I've slowly been realizing because if I get in an accident, they're plastic. My back's cracking in half. My back's cracking in half. Split. We'll get to the cage in a little bit, but that these this combo, it's not good, <laughs> apparently. I got a deal on these. These came in at $380. My opinion, super worth it for the look, the feel, as long as you don't get in a crash and die. Good deal plastic. What I didn't know is that along with these seats, you actually have to buy brackets. These did not come with brackets. No, no. That was just the original cost of the seat itself. The brackets didn't know this, baby. $350. Yes. So that basically just completely doubled the price of the seats, which I was not aware of. So I thought I got a great deal. You boy f***ed up. So we'll tack on another $350. That's where we're sitting at. Ow. Ow. Oh, it's a short. We're gonna talk about this big honcho right here, baby. This obviously, it's a roll cage. One of my favorite purchases by far. A, because the look, you know I like the look. I gotta do it to him, I can't not do it to him. Bright blue for no reason matches literally absolutely nothing on the car, but it still works. This, including powder coat, came in at $950. That's a steal, dude. If you guys are familiar with like Studio RSR, who was recently on all the pages for the ST groups promoting their new ST bar, dude, it's like three grand. This was 950 with a powder coat, dude. Honestly, besides the turbo, probably my favorite purchase. The next thing on the car that you're definitely not able to see, but is by far one of the most important parts on this car is the tune. So we're running a tune from Jason at Dizzy Tuning. We have two different tunes. One of them is for 91, one of them is for E30. We also have a tune coming for single port auxiliary fuel. That's another $200. It's not installed yet, but I am gonna incorporate that into the cost just because it is going on and we are gonna purchase it because I already have the parts for it. 
So total for all of that for two fuels on the regular tune, two fuels on single port, and all like the tuning process that goes into, 570. Honestly, not a bad deal. Sounds like kind of a lot. I know 570, it's like a lot. Really, really, really solid. And the car runs amazing. So shout out to Dizzy Tuning, you know who you are. Of course you do, because you're you, damn it. And that's the next item, 570 bucks. We're racking up, baby. Have you ever just wanted ultimate style, ultimate ruggedness, ruggedness, and just all out beef? You came to the right place, baby. So we got Raceline wheels. I cannot remember what they're called exactly, but they're in the description. These things, I absolutely love the way they look, but they're black, they don't show up in photos. It's a bad combo on a white car, but they look good in person. These come in at $400. In my opinion, it's a deal. It's lighter than stock, they look great, and they're not like the everyday wheel that you see all the time, like RPF ones or anything like that. They're a little different. So 400 bucks, it's good. If you guys could just, just go ahead and, just go ahead and move your eyes up right there. These are ultimate meat packers, okay? These things grip like a bitch now, I'm telling you. These are a Zenus RT660s. Favorite tire I've ever had, sticky as hell. When I go down my street, rock to up on my paint and I like it. These were expensive. <laughs> Even though it's a 205 4017, they're just really like high performance tires. They came in at $700 for the set. Expensive, again, worth it. And I keep saying worth it after every mod because they all go together. And if you don't have them, you're sad. So break your bank. Out of all the questions I get, the question I get asked most is what is my exhaust setup? And I find that so funny because this is just a stock exhaust, like a stock cat back from the factory with a muffler to lead, okay? And it's got the downpipe on there obviously as well. This costed $100. Now I'm gonna show you what it sounds like. It, best $100 I ever spent. <laughs> can't tell me that doesn't sound baller as hell for $100. That's so worth it. <laughs> Up next, we've got NGK coil packs. Not sure what they do, but they're there, baby. As a lot of you guys know, this thing took a fat L the other day, blew a spark plug out. Thank God it didn't just pop out, it just unthreaded, so it was okay. But as that happened, we had to get new coil packs and spark plugs, so we got NGK upgraded coil packs. Honestly, I don't really know if they do anything. They just look cool, they're gloss black. They say NGK on them, they look good. I just, they're, they're just cool looking. The NGK coil packs came in at $128. Not much far off from OEM, so I figured why not go with a cooler look. 128 bucks. Okay, under the coil packs, yes, the part that failed, the spark plugs. We went with a one step colder setup, which we already had, but we did it again. The spark plugs cost $45. Spark plugs are not expensive. And I was surprised, honestly, how cheap coil packs were as well. It's pretty good. The next thing we have, <laughs> This is a Mountain traction bar. This came with a car. I bought this car used, it already came with this. What this does, it helps wheel hop a lot. I never got to feel the before and after of it because this came with it, but there's no wheel hop on the car at all, which is great. I actually could not find this anywhere. Like I could not find a price for it. I couldn't find a link to it. I'm assuming based off other traction bars that I've seen, it's probably around 200, 250. And if you don't like that, you can complain in the comments and make friends. You got the wheels and tires, right? We went over the price. You gotta get lowered a little bit. You gotta get a little, little lower, a little lower on the spectrum. You don't wanna be rolling around looking like a monster truck. It's got little billy bobs on it, okay? You don't want that. So in the car, we have H&R lowering springs. I low-key don't recommend these. <laughs> so they're still gonna be linked below because they are the budget-friendly option. These came in at $229. If we're talking about price versus performance, the H&R lowering spring has great performance for the price, but I will 100% recommend spending the extra $600, it's a lot, I know, to go with coilovers, specifically like BC Racing. I had those on my last one, fantastic. But if you're just trying to get a little bit lower, have that look, these are the super sport versions. Again, they're linked below. They, they, they do their job, that's all I'll say. They do their job, does handle a little bit better. It's just bouncy as I'm, I'm riding around town and my head is taking off, baby. It's taking off, it's going to, it, call SpaceX, baby. Anyways, good deal. Not the best performance, but it is what it is, 229. Up next, we've got these Stussy boys right here. So these are sequential turn signals. These are fucking worth it. I don't care what the price is. They look sick, they're blacked out. And when you're in front of me and you're looking behind and I'm turning, looks like a race car, baby. This is probably the best deal out of everything that I've got. It was 37 bucks. <laughs> now, if we focus our attention a couple inches down, we have these gel ST badges. Another super freaking worth it thing that I did to the car, super cheap. These were $47, they're custom made. You can pick any kind of uh, color you want for the ST. It's a sick deal and it honestly totally changes the way the whole entire side of the car looks. And it really accentuates like this line right 
there looks so sick. There's two more things that I have to mention that are not quite on the car yet, but are going on very soon. Single port auxiliary fuel, I know we talked about the tuning of it and how much that cost, but the actual single port itself costs $700. Add that to the tally, baby. And the last thing that is not on the car that you guys don't even know about, not really a big deal, but it is important for the car, the radiator. I ordered a radiator that was $400 at the triple bypass radiator. I'm adding that in too, damn it. All right, guys, I've got the number, the total right here of how much it costs to get my car to this point. It's a sad number, but it's a, I'm grateful for it because I love what I do, it's a passion, it costs money to do, yeah, but in the end, spending this type of money is definitely worth it to me, and I am so glad to be able to have you guys to watch this process go down. With that being said, the total for this build, take a guess down in the comments, pause it if you want, take a guess, $8,300, dude, $8,300. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, the car's worth 10. It's all, it, it doesn't even matter to me. Again, this is our passion, this is what we do. Yes, it does involve us spending absurd amounts of money on things that don't need money put into them, but that's kind of the whole point. That's the craziness of it. That's why we are all, quote unquote, unlucky, the brand for now. Don't forget to head down to the link in the description at GB Speed Shop and pick up some merchandise. This is just one of the shirts. There's a bunch on there, a bunch of different colors, designs. Let me know what you think of them. And boys, I will catch you very, very soon on the next one. Damn it. Peace.